a week or so ago, we did a cleaning and getting mold out of our washer, washer dryer. And since then, we actually now have like a mold smell that's even worse. We cannot figure it out. So what I've done is taken everything off the top here and I'm going to basically pull all the machines out and see if there's some wet moldy thing back there. I'm going to Clorox wipe everything. We're just trying to figure out where this moldy smell is coming from because the point of doing our cleaning of the washer a week ago was to eliminate that smell. And it does appear to have gotten rid of the mold and the gunk that's in the seal there. So where the heck is the smell coming from? That's what I'm doing. So um, let's see what happens. Okay, so you're just gonna take the top off here, right? Oh, I should I probably move these close. I'm not to mess up the walls. It just still stinks in here. I know, I can't figure out. How am I gonna do this without destroying the walls? We didn't have the. Uh... Here, let me put this down. Oh, you got it. Okay. Smell these. These are, these are fine. Um... Pull that out again. It's mainly the drum of it, though. I know, I'm wondering if somehow there's stuff in there. Maybe we have to do a, a bleach thing or something. But first, let's just check all this. Okay. Um, if anything, it's a good cleaning Yeah. Ooh, look exercise. Look Nasty. Whoa. It's amazing, because nothing can, I don't know, like the whole Unless wood on socks, top. Socks are wet. How does it get back How does there? It, underneath, I guess. Shades. Those are some nasty socks. So you have to ignore the mixer. Abby's making cakes uh, or not cookies. Even, not even here. Um, so we've taken everything apart. There's some good cleaning. There's nothing here that's moldy or anything. So the smell has to be coming from here. And you so, really smell it in the drum. Yeah. Even though we've cleaned out the mold on the ring with that treatment we did on a video about a week ago, there's a smell in there. So I think what we have to do what is run a bleach in there yeah i think bleach, bleach one would be wash. the best um something to try to kill it because it's definitely not i assumed it was like a moldy sock back here this is washington anything that gets wet and sits molds but there's nothing back here so it's got to be in here maybe we freed up all of the gunk and now it's just kind of floating in there so we need to do we did a wash after I mean, whatever that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do a bleach wash after we do this wash <laughs> Hey, you guys, we are actually turning around to go back home. <laughs> I had to do that this morning, too. Oh, yeah, you did. You did leave and then come back. He went for a hike this morning. I will insert that clip right here. It'll be a short clip. Yeah. <laughs> um, which the clip will tell you why later on. Yeah. Um, but I will say for all of you that are I'm getting cabin fever, everyone's got their own way of de-stressing. Some people, they just need to be alone, do their own thing. For me... I, I like people, I like being around, but I love being active and being active in nature. Man, I feel like I just like took speed or something. I feel way more, <laughs> not that I've taken speed, I don't know exactly, but uh, I'm way more upbeat and full of energy and happiness and nothing's changed. So for me, it felt really good. And I hope to do a good old hike tomorrow and actually show you the top of something. But I don't know, that's my story of the hike. Yeah, so go check that out and then I'll be right back I have to go get stuff to take over to his brother. Okay, so I'm giving you a little update of what I'm doing this morning. It's not too early. I actually got a full night's rest last night. Um, so I felt up to doing this. It's been hard for me to sleep lately and I haven't had the energy to wake up early in the morning and go for a hike. But I had a good rest last night, so I am gonna go for it today. I'm just trying to get out, have fun. I am going on a trail where in the summertime, Maybe I see three people. That's summertime. I don't expect to see anybody. I don't have a lot of people that like follow me or watch this, so it's not a big deal. There's not a lot of people that are gonna go out and try to do the hike I'm doing. I have some friends that have a lot of people that follow them, and so they're intentionally not showing their hikes or not doing hikes just to keep people home. I respect that. Uh, I'm just not very popular, so I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Anyways, I hopefully it'll be beautiful. I don't expect to see anybody. I will show you some of the video I have. Hope you guys are doing all right in your quarantine. This will probably be the most isolated I am all month, but uh, I just need to get out. I'm going crazy. Anyways, it's beautiful. I'll get some video for you. Come along. That is where I'm hopefully gonna try to get to. We'll see how the snow is up there. 
Well, I'm a little bit into my hike here and uh, my hydration system has blown a leak and it's just gushing water down my back and I'll run out of water here real soon. So I gotta stop, which pretty much sums up the last few weeks, uh, you know, two steps forward, three steps back. Uh, so I'm gonna try it tomorrow. I'm gonna patch up my water bladder or find a different system and try it tomorrow. It's beautiful out here, I haven't seen anybody. Um, yep, so there's my hike, there's my date. All right, so we just had extra um, yogurts and vegetables from the kids' um, school lunches that they've been getting. One, we don't like celery. Or hummus. <laughs> or hummus, or beans. Or broccoli. Or, well, broccoli, I just, I'm not gonna cook it quick enough to get go through it. It's just so fun to see everyone out walking, but you can't like really stop, stop and chat. Box. But I also like just last week went and got a bag of carrots and like our own vegetables. And so I'm just, I'm getting new vegetables every single day in their, in their lunches and I'm not going through them because we don't like vegetables very much. And so I'm just gonna give them to my sister-in-law. She eats vegetables like five times a day. So she's a lot better than me. So we're gonna take them to her and then I, uh, we also had yogurts. Because my kids just don't like the. They're, they're a certain. What are they? They're, they're really sugary. They're really it's sugary. like a Yo Play tricks, and the kids are used to like uh, just Yo Play like Greek, Greek yogurt, 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 and they put like granola on it, and it just isn't their they're, favorite. They're so a little more sugary than the kind we get. Which I know she's not going to want her kids to have. Um, but, but we're gonna offload them on her anyways. <laughs> that's what that's what a good aunt and uncle are for is to give um, their nieces and nephews sugar. The sugar. So, uh, but then we're also gonna go to Target, and I I don't like to I don't want to roam a whole lot at Target. Um, oh, we're not face masks yet. When are we gonna get our face masks? Yeah, we'll talk about that. I just found out last night when I was trying to do the tracking on my shipment because I haven't gotten any update on what you know when it if it was shipped or when it's gonna arrive. And just yesterday when I tracked it, not the other three times I've tried to track it, just yesterday, a new thing popped up that said it was a pre-order. Pre-order? Yeah. What so that, yeah, exactly. Like they haven't even been made yet. So I've got to call or co contact customer service. I tried last night, but my email wasn't allowing it to go through. And so. There's so many cool masks. I'm just going to I'm going to cancel that order and I'll order something else that'll come quicker. We're going to Target because and and we're just barely filming for the first time today. It's three o'clock because tomorrow we were supposed to be in Hawaii <laughs> and I think all the kids are realizing it today. They're not having a hard day, but they're just realizing it. Oh, sorry, the camera wasn't on me. They're just realizing it and I have realized that Easter for us was supposed to be very minimal. I have a really fun Easter idea for the kids, but it was supposed to be done from our hotel room the morning we wake up in Maui for the first day. And so, and, the, and I've told the kids like what my, I, some of my ideas, like the basics, but it was gonna be very minimal. And they've all told me, mom, that would have been totally fine because Maui is our present. Like that, you didn't need to do anything. They've all been very um, kind and and you know, mindful that they didn't need a big Easter. They don't need big, huge baskets and tons of candy. And so, but now I kind of feel bad because <laughs> they'll be fine. They'll I be want, fine I with have it. A nice big breakfast. Just kind of. You'll see what I mean it. with the bags. Maybe I'll show you the bags tonight when I kind of get it put together and whatnot. Get it ready. It's only Friday, but I'm I'm a planner. I'm a preparer. It's Friday. Okay. Yeah, it is Friday. So we're just gonna go grab a few extra things. Part of the reason why I, I didn't want to do a ton was because I have to ship it with me. I have to like pack it all and end up probably paying for, you know, my bags. And so I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to pack in Easter. So I did very lightweight, minimal Easter stuff. So we're just gonna go get a few extra things okay. just because yeah. they, you know, I just feel bad that they're missing out on Easter and what, and what celebrations doing? and our trip. So Jason's kind of struggling with this car next to us. So we're just going to go to Target and we'll see what we can find. So we did it. 
We wear our masks for the first, first time. time. And I get fogged up. See? <laughs> Ugh, it's crazy. All right, so we've been wasting, I don't know, how long have we been in here? An hour and a half? I have. My girls are right here. They don't want to be on camera. Oh, come on, Abby, you come I'm here. I'm trying to paint. Abby, come here. Come and tell them. Shut the door. Shut the door. Okay, so Jason and I were just going through bills on um, online, and I was checking my bank account, making sure we had enough money to pay our bills this month, and we don't. But, um, and anyway, I have credits coming from the school. They're now issuing refunds for field trips and things that the Which kids have like paid for. Money. Yeah, I probably got like 250 maybe even $300 coming back to me. So I was checking to see if that had gone through because the emails have stated that it'll st start to show up. So anyway, Jason and I were going through that kind of stuff and I saw $49 taken out of my account for Fabletics. And I freaked out because I canceled my Fabletics account two months ago because I'm sick of like these credits getting pulled from my account and then I forget about it and so then... Like I ordered two pairs of pants or shorts for swim shorts for Hawaii because I forgot to cancel the account. So I had like a hundred dollars sitting there. So I ordered some shorts anyway, long story, but I pulled up this account that I hadn't closed. Um, if you're new to, if you haven't ever heard of Fabletics, it's like they get you in on this two for $24 meal or deal. And so I was excited to get the girls some really good leggings for school last school year, not this current year, for that price, for 12 bucks for a really, really good pair of pants. So I signed up with two emails and I forgot about the second email. I just logged into my account with that email today. You guys, <laughs> I had a $400 credit. I haven't realized that they've been pulling $50 from my bank account for eight months without me using that credit. And so, I didn't tell Jason the dollar amount. I just said, I need to use this credit and then I'm gonna close this account down so that we stop getting this money pulled. And he's like, okay, go ahead and do that. I'm gonna make dinner. So he's been out there making dinner. So Abby's been in here with me for an hour and we've been going through <laughs> and she's been picking out shorts and pants and well, she picked out a pair of pants, right? And two sports bras, so you yeah. gotta come this way. Sorry. And we got some socks and all that kind of stuff. So then she left the room and went to get Kaylee to tell Kaylee to come in here and pick out some pants and whatnot to order. Um, and I have a bra and some socks and kind of stuff. But she walks out there and tells Jason the dollar amount of the credit. Is the door shut? You guys, $400. <laughs> oh, so we've been <laughs> What? laughing. I had no idea. I thought I canceled the account. Okay. Okay, can I finish this really quick? Okay. Okay. You don't want to tell me what's going on, do you? No. <laughs> Go away. It's money I already spent, honey. I'm trying to fix the problem. <laughs> See, this, I didn't want... He, she told. She told the dollar oh, amount. If we hadn't said the dollar amount. Oh. So you guys, check this out. So total spent today is $2.40. That's the closest I could get it. I've used all eight of my credits. That's eight months. $400 worth of credits. I went over by $2.40. So I had to add a couple socks. So... <laughs> How many things that we get to order? Three One, two, Kaylee. three for Kaylee, a bra for Abby, pant for Abby, bra for me, bra for Abby, and a couple socks. Like 11 socks. Like 11 socks. Actually, probably more than that. So out of pocket today, I couldn't get any closer than that, but $2.40. <laughs> so anyway, I, I feel bad because I know he's stressed about money. It's not money that I'm currently spending. Like I'm not taking $400 out of my checking account right now. I do feel bad though that it's been coming out of my account for the past eight months and I didn't realize it. I thought I had solved the problem two months ago, to be honest, because I saw the $49 credit and I said, I'm gonna close that account down, done with it. And then it started up again from this other account. <laughs> so I'm gonna order this really quick, go help him with dinner. And apparently our washing machine is still smelling. <sighs> so we gotta go fix that problem. All right, so we're here in the laundry room. I think the smell that Jason was actually talking about is bleach. We just bleached this it's whole <laughs> this whole load. But I'm gonna throw in some more laundry really quick and see if it changes after another load. Because I just did a bleach load to kind of rinse it out one more time and see if I can get rid of that mildewy smell. And we've been trying to fix this washing machine and laundry room. 
So just stay tuned for that and you'll understand it a little bit more. But also I wanted to show you this little laundry basket that I got for Abby a little while ago. Super cute, because this is like the one that I used for my room. I have this one and a gray one that's a little bit better. But this one is starting to like get the wire coming out. So I want to get rid of this one. But I got this one cute for Abby and Kaylee's room. It's a little bit bigger than the one they had before. And it stays upright really good. But they can also compact it down if they need to. But I also wanted to show you what we got at Target. I forgot that I didn't show you. Because I can't just run into Michael's as much as I want to right now. And it's annoying to buy things online and have to do curbside pickup. I just grabbed some uh, glue sticks because Abby's wanted to do some projects. So I grabbed some of those. Some of my onion dip. I have chips and dip as my snack almost every day. It's just my thing. So then I got this cute little candle. Lemon and coriander. Um, it just smelled really fresh and good. But I also, it was only like $2.50. So it's not like going to break the bank by any means right now but I also bought it because I, I needed another cute little jar for my makeup brushes on my desk and this is like perfect so either for makeup brushes or I might put like q-tips or cute you know or cotton balls or something in it it would just look really cute I kind of want to leave the lid on it because it's a cute wooden lid and it says ever after or ever spring so it's not like a major brand that like is awkward to have it on there but then I got some um, treats for Easter. So I'll just say what this, I won't say what this is because they're right outside the other room. So I got those two. It's just a little bit extra, but we didn't want to spend a ton more money on Easter because like I said, I already have some. And so then this is going to go with my theme <laughs> of what we were going to do when we were in Hawaii. So I'll, you'll have to wait until our Easter video and I'll show you everything kind of all put together with this whole pineapple theme going on you'll get it later but they love these dried pineapples and our target has not had them in stock for the past couple weeks and so i actually just snagged four bags of them so that's kind of fun and then i just needed one more soap bottle i don't know what they break they fall off the counter and they break um but i have a reusable soap i have like a like the big half gallon or whatever of reusable soap so i don't like to spend a whole lot of money on the containers so i just got one more cheap container and then I can refill it when that's gone. Mm -hmm. 